Fellow farming enthusiasts, welcome to the adventures of your guy, Stardew Grignison. Here he is, back in his home. Now, originally I wasn't planning on doing any Stardew- What is the red dice? Oh, that's like really bad luck. Okay, well, fair enough. Nothing on the TV, apparently. Uh... So, I wasn't originally going to do any Stardew this weekend. Ooh, the wizard. Hello. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the community center. Why not pay me a visit? My chambers are at the west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have some information concerning your rat problem. M. Rasmodius, wizard. You can't really be anything else with the name like M. Rasmodius. Nominative determinism. Is the word you're looking for. Well, I suppose that's two words, isn't it? Uh, anyway, hello. Welcome to uh, Stardew. So, uh, last weekend I had a birthday party. It was a friend's birthday. Uh, he had COVID, so we were, like, originally not going to do it. Had to reschedule, etc., etc. Anyway, uh, so that happened. And I was like, look, I can't get, like, three episodes of Rim Rim. Uh, and three episodes of Stardew. Uh, then, as you're watching this, I will be away from my home on my journeys. Uh, doing stuff. So, there wasn't, uh, so again, I've like not had, I've, I've had to have like bolt record again, three episodes, well, two episodes of Rim Rim, because I just haven't had time this time to do three, um, another couple of episodes of Rim Rim, and, uh, yeah, Stardew kind of went on the back burner a little bit, now, I, I do intend it to be a daily, uh, series, obviously, it's a lot more of a slower, kind of, uh, much more relaxed series, we're gonna keep the chair, so that we can rest wherever, that's a big brain play. Um, we're gonna keep the chair just so that we can, we can relax. Uh, but yeah, no, Grigna and, and Stardew is supposed to be daily, but I just, I just have not had time. I, everything happened at once. I've maybe got like a week of peace. Um, where do we want to go today? Why don't we have a, why don't we have a plan? I did say at the end of the last episode I would, um, focus on trying to speak to the colonists a little bit more. The colonists. The, um, <laughs> the citizens of this lovely town. Um, we've, we've started to build up a little bit of relationship with them here, because we've got that community mod, so when we speak to one person, they see us speaking to a lot of other people, the heart will increase. We haven't really got to worry about giving them, like, gifts and everything immediately. We're here for the slow burn, and I'm, I'm alright with that. I'm happy with that. I think the slow burn is better. I'm not going to focus on, you know, d doing effectively, like, a checklist. I really don't like that. I know there's literally a to-do list up there in the corner. Um, but I don't want to be like, okay, we're going to go speak to this person and this person and this person before we can even start. Um, we'll just do what we feel like. That's the best part of farm life. You can do whatever the hell you feel like. I kind of feel like fishing today. Oh, I said we would clear a path over to the, um, what a sexy bus, over to the uh, stream, which we will do. Uh, anyway, yeah, so things have been busy. I've got a week of, uh, you know, slightly less madness coming up, which is nice. Um... <laughs> so I can work. That's nice. Hello. Uh, Pam wants to buy a herring. That's very appropriate, Pam, because I'm about to go and get fishy myself. Let's have a chat with this fella. Hello, fella. Oh, shit. Greg, now that is not how we say hello. It's Alex. Looks like a good day to play catch, huh? I'd ask you to throw the ball around, but you don't seem like a sports type. What the? What are you trying to say? What's that supposed to mean? Greg, now angry. No, Greg, now... As a guy who would need to, you know, I I think he's not just a brain, a, 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 an idiot barbarian this time. He knows that he's got to massage their egos, winky face. If he wants to massage anything else, I've got to, I want to play catch with you. Really? I guess I underestimated you. My arm's a little sore. Maybe next time, turns out someone else has been massaging their ego. Penny! <laughs> Speak to Gregna. Chasing her down. We don't have a school here, but I'm doing my best to give them a proper education. Are you qualified? I mean, it's better than nothing. Please let Greg in the past. Thank you. Uh, and we'll just chat with the people that we can see. I think maybe we'll do a little fishing. I want to clear the path as well, but I thought we could catch a few people on the way through here. Hello. I want to look for bugs, but mum gets mad when I'm all dirty. It's a tough choice. She's one to talk. Let's crack open this bin. We got a little bin hunting. I haven't done that for a while. What a nice day. There are like certain days where people will conglomerate, right? Some days they'll be like the market square and then other days they'll all be in Pierre's doing like yoga or some shit. Those would be like the best days closed on Wednesdays. Wednesdays, my dude. How could I forget? Those would be the best days really to get in there and have a chat with people, right? What the hell is muscle remedy? Is my guy Harvey willing to sell Grigna roids? Remember to cover your mouth when you sneeze. <laughs> I can tell you're a doctor. <laughs> <coughs> oh, God. I was so stupid, it genuinely made me cough. I was about to say, look. That cult sign is here again, look. Here it is. 
is the sign of the vessel. It's here to comfort those who believe in Yoba. Hmm. God of Stardew Valley, I am. Oh, Yoba. There is some, there is some weird shit going on, I'm telling you right now. Hello there. Sorry in advance if I say anything rude. I didn't get much sleep last night. Oh, God, don't. Uh, it's currently, that uh, takes me on to my main point. Uh, it's currently 6.39 a.m. I wasn't originally going to do any Star Trek over the next few days because, again, I had to focus on Rim Rim. I uh, get as much of that done as possible. I was getting, like, suits fitted and shit yesterday, so um, that was a busy time. Um, but I, I, I was like, look, instead of getting two hours sleep, because that's not going to benefit anybody, let's just stay awake all the way through. Let's do a little, let's do a little uh, Star Trek Valley, eh? There's loads of people over in the uh, library we can chat with. I should really use the map more. That's on me. I was kind of hoping they're all home here that we could have a chat with. Ah, there you go. Hello. Robin. Hey there, Grigna. Hey there, Robin. How are you doing? Yeah, here we go. Get three people at once. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I work at Harvey's Clinic. He says he likes having me around in case medical equipment goes haywire. Well, that and he is completely unqualified. You're probably growing a lot of interesting plants. Nope, it's nothing but... Parsnips. Honestly, on the list of, of, of vegetables, uh, you know what, in the list of plants in general, I would say that parsnips are just about the least interesting plant going. Well, there's a potato that's a triangle. That, that's all there is to it. Well, I suppose you'd argue it's at least a step above a potato at that point, but you can do so much more with potatoes than you can with parsnips. Boil them, mash them, and stick them in the stew. Look at all these people. Oh, it's Prime Grigna time. They, you wouldn't speak to me. Oh, no, no, no. What the fuck? Pam! <laughs> Did you watch the game last night? Do you even have a TV? I do have a TV. Hello! What did you say? Oh, it's already 12.20 p.m. My goodness. Pam! You sexy beast. Time's been tough lately. I got laid off from my job as a bus driver. If I got that job back, I could drive you to Calico Desert. No. Oh. Well. I still have tons of work to do. Don't we all? This was nice. I'm glad we did a day of socializing. That's about all I can stomach, though. What's in your bin? Is there anyone in the saloon? Just old man Gus. Is that Gus? I don't remember all the names. Right, let's go and, uh... Let's go and actually start clearing, like I said we would. Ah, oh, here's Mayor Lewis. Well, a cup of strong tea in the morning. Hi there. Do you have everything you need for the farm? You're trying to sell me shit, too. Is she on... Are they married, or is she, like, on Pierre's pyramid scheme? When you think about Pierre and Pyramid, have at least two letters in common. Three letters in common. <laughs> Don't think about it too hard, apparently. <laughs> right, let's get to work. Now, we did uh, find that there's apparently a spa over there, which is really helpful. Um, oh, we can get, like, a better... We can get a better rod, but we can catch herring here, so... Maybe we should upgrade the fishing rod first. I do like the fishing in Stardew, but... It's not the most interesting, is it? No, not like visually to watch. I mean, it's fine to play, but like, good God. This is probably the worst place to fish. There are fish here, though. Come on. Come on, bite Grigner's rod. I feel like I'm really not fishing in the right place. <laughs> oh! Shit. Damn you. Uh, maybe maybe we should go get that upgrading fishing rod first. I, wa I want to do a load of fishing. I, 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 I don't know why. I just feel like I'm in the mood to do a little fishing today. Then we're going to have a nice fun time. Uh, let's see if we can just find another... Shit. This farm is so impossible to navigate. I was going to say we'll see if we can find another way to get to uh, like a stream or a river or something. Because I'm sure there's other water sources. I imagine they'll catch the same stuff, right? Oh, I said last episode, is there a place... Oh, we need, like, a, a recycling mod. Uh, everybody said, there is recycling. There's, like, actually a base game recycler. Now, to be fair, to my credit, it's been a very long time since I last played Stardew. I'm gonna... We're gonna retire from going in the mine for a while. So, we'll put that in our mine supplies. Um, an axe, I suppose, is what you chop wood with. So, we'll throw that in there. We'll just do a couple of days of fishing. So, we'll take the oak chair. We'll take the fishing rod. We'll set up at, uh... Old Willis... Do a little catch. Try and earn enough money to be able to buy the upgraded fishing rod. And then we can get just like the stuff we need anyway, right? Because the treasure we can get alls from, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, old lady uh, Evelyn. Hello. 
I saw the most beautiful family of butterflies sunning themselves in the town garden. You're a, you're a fool. Think butterflies sun themselves? Probably trying to avoid some the horrifying predator. As a life, Evelyn, we all die in the end. You should know that better than anyone else. You old fart. You want strong wind off of dropping down dead. Give me that. There's a wonder she isn't dead already, given that uh, you got Dr. Harvey on the fucking case. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, the forest is a wonderful place if you've been there. Oh, incredibly insightful. Thank you. You truly are a bastion of mental fortitude. Hand those over. Those are for Grigna. It was his coral. Without him, you wouldn't even have access to this very mediocre beach. Boom. That is big money right there if you want to sell it all. That was worth it. I think I let it build up for a few days. Although I say that with some confidence, but I'm... Oh, I should have bought the hoe for the worms. There's no bigger worm on this beach than Elliot. So, you know, bring a hoe for him as well. That's either a sex joke or I'm going <laughs> to kill him dead and I haven't decided which. Fly! You are good enough. Um, well, we've got a one streak, so we've got to try and not miss that treasure if we can. What was I about to say? Probably something very derogatory towards the people of this town. We should probably go and have a chat with old man Willie, too. Nice, we need a herring for Pam. Oh, shit. And we need it fast. Well, I've already fucked up the streak. Sorry, squad. Well, there it is, an anchovy. Boom. That's a good day. That's a good day to be Grigna. Come on. We need to buy that better rod, because this is going to uh, drive me insane. Okay. Ooh. Well, that seems very unfair. Oh, it's going to be a flounder. Like an entire shark. What is, it, what is a game that you can catch really weird shit? Like whale shark. We've got Animal Crossing. Ah. Oh. Bazinga. Well, you want to buy my fish? Hello. Some fish come and go with it. Ah, oh, he's a pirate man. Uh, others only come out at night or in the rain. That was really helpful. Ah, oh, well, we might as well catch a bit more. We're not going to be able to fulfill Pam's fishy request. Sadly. Well, I suppose we could, as long as we just get a, a herring to her before the end of the day, right? Even if she's in the saloon or whatever. <laughs> Slap it down and she scoops it up into her pocket. Goes home and eats it raw. Shirtless. She just strikes me as a type, you know? Oh, God, this is hard. Oh, it's so difficult. I'm not a good enough gamer for this. Herring? Oh, it's a, oh, it's a herring. A herring for Pam. All right, where, where, where is she? Oh, it's Vincent's birthday. Do you think he'd appreciate a live oyster? Or a live mussel? I hope Pam appreciates a live mussel, given that Grigna's right here. Perfect! Nailed it. Ah, oh, sardine! Why are you balls that one up? I was going to say, do you think we can get up to level 3 fishing? And then I realized that, Jesus Christ, this is slow to... Slow to level up. You are doing a lot of sitting around literally doing nothing. If it was just fish after fish after fish fishing minigame. A little bit more bearable. Careful. Come on. Perfect streak. Perfect streak. He's on He's on a roll. Last two. Whoa! Was that an iridium quality herring? Jesus Christ, is Jason born? I am the Wim Hof of the fishing world. Well, when you consider it, Wim Hof is just the... That better not ruin my streak. He's kind of the fish of the cold world. I didn't know you could get iridium level stuff. Maybe that's because we got the two streak. Oh, there's a, there's a bubble. Should I go for the bubble? I need to go track down Pam. Although, to be fair, she probably doesn't go to sleep till 3am. Well, that'll do. Right, we're off. Let's go find Pam. Remind me to bring a hoe for next time. In fact, I don't think we need the chair. It's too slow right now to worry about the... Linus! Linus Tech Tip! Uh, I've, already, I've already been through that, pal. Oh man, George. 
Those are those raccoons are back again, filthy varmints. Oh, you turned up at the right moment, son. Could you do an old man a favor? Go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me. They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a scare so they never come back. Just go around the corner and slowly strangle the life out of Linus. It was me. I'm sorry. It's okay, Linus. They have delicious food in there. Find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Mm. Stuff that would get a waste if I don't take it. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? It's illegal. That's George's private. He's such a narc. Oh, it's a shame for good food to go to waste. Every single one of the... Uh, this is the most chaotic <laughs> lineup of responses. It's disgusting. It's illegal. You should get a job and stop leeching off. No, it's a shame for food to go to waste. Gregna would also like to eat that delicious food. Thanks, Gregna. What's that on Pam's caravan? Looks like something's not working right there. I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. No, you're not. Well, you're taking food out of Gregna's mouth. You can go on home. I promise I won't rummage in George's can anymore. You can tell him he scared the raccoons off for good. No, fuck George. Fucking old bastard. I'm gonna roll him into the river. Fuck that guy. That did not sound like he was going through the bin. <laughs> Wait. It just looks like... It looks like a Mario brother. I know what you're doing, Linus. It was supposed to be uh, Wal Wario, but it just sounded like a stereotype, so I'm not going to do that anymore. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Here, I've got a basket of... <laughs> no, it's not good. Of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. Waluigi on the win. No, that's Waluigi. Wario. I don't remember. I'm clearly not qualified. Every child deserves a chance to be successful. Not all of them. Some are real cunts. Some are just unforgivable. What do you want? Oh, is that all she... Is that all she said? What rude... Uh, like that one. Fuck her. She doesn't deserve a future. George, the raccoons are in your bins again. <laughs> Can you believe it? It was Linus. Oh, where's Pam? Where is Pam? Oh, she's in the saloon. Oh, this is optimal speaking to people time. Oh, my man, Clint. Hey, what do you need? Oh, I need you to stop looking at me with those baby doll eyes. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, Pam threw me off there for a moment. Hey, kid, you're too angry bumping around in a place like this. How do I give her the fish? Good evening. Can I get you anything? How about some of those zucchini fritters? Would have given to the raccoons. Heard rumors of rare and powerful magic rings forged long ago by long ago civilizations. Nine were given to man. I'm not sure if it's true or just a fairy tale. But another was forged in secret. That's a special ring. You have to put batteries in it. Uh, here, take my herring. I'm not giving you a good one. You can fucking choke. Wait, hang on. Herring. Do I just hand it to her like this? Wait, herring. That was herring. I just hand it to her. Oh, there you go. Hey, so you saw the notice I posted. Thanks so much. Here's a little something for your trouble. Oh, Pam. God, the soundtrack here is such a banger. Can we buy a Joja Cola? Oh, I mean, we've already got one. Oh, you can. 75 big ones. Man, the economy in this game is all sorts of bollocks up. Like, fresh fish is like, what? 37. I mean, it's only an anchovy. 100 for a flounder, but a can of... Cola beverage is 75. Good lord. Joja CEO. Mr. Joja. <laughs> Mr. Joja probably has a. Um, oh, Christ almighty, let's get the hell out of me. I thought I was a monster. It was an owl. Oh, uh, Mr. Mr. Joe is uh, probably the world's richest man at this exchange rate. It doesn't make any damn sense. I preferred Joja back when he was a uh, pink guy. All right, let's go to bed. <laughs> uh, what a great day. 
Do you have plants that need watering? Oh, what are these nuts? It's that damn cauliflower again. All right, fine. I want your damn cauliflower. Then give me my give me my faithful can. Bazinga. All right, is that all of them? Are we good now? You hold this. What was I going to take with me? The hoe. Let's take the hoe. Uh, you can keep the seaweed. Uh, we'll keep the Joja Cola. I guess I'll put that in the monster box so that we can drink it next time we're in the monster mine. There we are. Um, they don't like it being called that. Nice and friendly mine where nobody is murdered by our occult affairs. Sacrifices to Yoba don't happen anymore. That's a thing of our past, they all say. Oh, no. What the hell was that? I thought it was loading a cutscene. Big money. wonder how much the fishing rod is. Probably, probably more than that. Let's be reasonable. Day 11 of spring year one. So far, Grigna's closest relationship is with Linus. Who he has already had a heart event with. I don't know if that counts a heart event, whether that's just a thing that happens. Ah, oh, if only Grigna had a pet. <laughs> Grigna can get a pet, don't worry, before people continue to riot. Hello! I've lost my favorite axe. If you find it, please return it to me. I'm having a tough time without that. There's 250 guh in it for whoever finds a thing. It's in the mine, isn't it? Or maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, thank you, Pam. Meet the wizard. No, thank you. Oh, the parsnips are in. A great day for Grigna. There we go. Boom. Uh, it's taken us weeks. But we've finally done it. Level one and two thirds farming. Wow. Here, take this. This is for you. Take all of this. Or can I just shift click? Oh, you have to send it one at a time. Really? How bizarre. Well, let's plow on then. A great time. I know I should be taking more advantage of like planting crops and stuff in this first season. I don't have the attention span to be focusing on many things like that at once. I'm too busy thinking of very sarcastic, cynical things to say about the questionable inhabitants of this village and their strange lifestyles. Oh my god, there's no school because they indoctrinate the children into the cult. What if it's just inbreeding going back generations? My god. I'm piecing it all together. It's just bizarre that the general store has a giant altar in it. That's all I'm saying. Do, do, do. Ah! It's a steaming pile of shit. Thank you. <laughs> Next to it was a bin that I got some rubbish from. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. I like Mayor Lewis. Mayor Lewis is a real one. You know, he's he's willing to balance his relationship and his personal relationship with his public image. And I think that's a great sacrifice. The man doesn't want to drag Marnie into the limelight, allegedly. The worms are still there. Do the worms not move? Weird. Well, here we are. Now, today, we've got the whole day ahead of us. I'm feeling lucky, apparently. Kapow. We've got an ornamental fan. And oh, a load of stone. Great. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Can we give old man Willie the chair? You know, I've never decorated the town in Stardew, but I could be persuaded. I like to think I have a good eye for aesthetics. I mean, you've seen Jer Egypt. So maybe I should give the whole town decoration a go. That'd be nice. Can we sit here and fish? Nope. Of course, don't be silly. You can't sit down and fish. How are you going to get the lower body strength to reel up all those massive sardines? Oh, for fuck's sake. That was a quick one. Okay, head in the game here. Oh, we can catch halibut. Ooh. Head in the game here. The streak is two. <sighs> Any time now. To be fair, we are probably spooking the fish. Ah! <laughs> we are probably spooking the fish. Another iridium herring. Wow. From the fact that... Uh, wait. Reinforced fishing rod. 1800. Oh, that's... Not as nuts as I thought. We could absolutely get that today. From the fact that we have a giant bear on our head was 
how I was going to finish that sentence twice and then forgot both times. Hopefully the feeling lucky thing affects our uh, quality level. To say that Jojama is here and dumping like actual full-on toxic waste into the ocean. It's kind of abundant with fish life, isn't it? This is like the second nicest beach I've ever seen. I mean, I'm including real life beaches in that one too. I should probably go, take that to Gunther. Good God. Give me an actual fish. Oh, it's so high stakes. I don't like it. You're freaking me out. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Head in the game. It's time for a four streak. I'm never going to lose a fish again as long as I live. All I have to do is get the fish in the first place. You brace yourself for this one. Grigna the fish wrangler. Call up Pam because he's ready. Come on. There you go. All right. Ah. Oh. Oh. Did you see that? Look at that. Iridium flounder. That's my SoundCloud. <laughs> that is a great SoundCloud name. You can feel the market doing what Young Scrolls does for the Elder Scrolls, but with Stardew Valley. I mean, there are a few issues with that, the more I think about it. There's treasure. Ignore it. The street must live. The treasure must die, so street must live. We've leveled up. We're now three fish. Take my fish, old man. Boom. Give me your better fishing rod. This. This does feel nice. Get in the bin. I'm done with you. I genuinely, for a second, then had a horrible thought that I had binned the wrong fishing rod. This is it. This is it. I'm, I'm so dialed in. Nice. Here we go. Never. You will never get off, oh, for fuck's sake! You lost your perfect... Uh, you'll lose these nuts! <laughs> it's not much of a threat now that I've said it out loud. <laughs> <sighs> and nobody could have done that. There's no human being alive with the reflexes to do something like that. There'd have to be a goddamn peregrine falcon. Give me some more of that gentle sea breeze. Is there anything calming my otherwise rampaging nerves right now? Oh, I need to get that down to an art. I'll, I'll get the reaction some of that. It's going to be max every single time. Just you wait. Do I need to be keeping these for like a bundle? I really should have checked that before I... Sold it to old man Willy. Oh! That was a challenge. Nothing Grigna could not overcome. That deserved to be a Iridium quality for that. That was incredible. My god, this is slow to level up. A series after this one, we're going to do our old school runescape. And we're going to pot for lobsters. Off Karam Japir. For 45 hours. To get a single level. Oh, Bazinga, this is so... Um, uh, Grigna needs like a, like a catchphrase, you know, like a, like a, this is a good moment style, like a kachow or a bazinga or a, you know, like something like that. Normally he would just shout his name before he, fuck, caved in the skulls of his enemies. You've lost your, you don't need to tell me, I know. Ah, oh. Rubbing it in. At least the fish, are, oh, they're actually biting so much faster with this rod. I don't think the, um... Like, the target box is any better. I don't think it's any bigger, but I think just the frequency we're getting fish now is much, much better. All right, here we go. Hold your nerve. Oh, for fuck's sake. Look at them shitty fish. I hate fishing. No, this is the last fish. I'm out. But maybe I'll catch one more. <laughs> this is kind of gambling. Would this be banned on Twitch? Oh. Oh, it bounced. Let me guess. I lost my fishing streak of two. Yeah, whatever. Hey. Willie. Crab pot. Ah. Oh. Wait, bait. 
Let's be attached to a fishing rod. How do we craft bait? Can we... Because we can turn bug meat into bait, right? I'm not going mad. I guess plus one fishing. That's interesting. We could, we could we can also make crab pots eventually, can't we, as well? So crab pots are kind of cool with the automate mod. Because you can put a crab pot down and you can put the automate, uh, like a chest next to it. And any crabs that go in the pot will be sucked out into the chest. That way we can make like a little bit of cash on the side with very little extra effort. What the fuck is this thing, huh? What a goddamn killer whale. Oh, sorry, they rebranded. Orca. Orca. They rebranded. Right, that's it. I'm done with fishing. My patience only extends so far. I've given you the courtesy you need, Poseidon, god of the ocean. That's enough. You can piss off. Grignor is declaring war on Poseidon. I sit in our chair. Contemplate how much I hate fishing. Well, I don't know what the next plan is. We could always go down to the mines and... Do a little more smart. Do we have like a quest? I found her axe. She's cutting wood south of Marnie's ranch. I might go do that. Um, we gotta go see the wizard anyway, so we could potentially kill two birds with one stone there. There's everyone farming craft a scarecrow, got it. And then we've got to build a coop for our chickens. Which I'm not really sure I'm into. We're gonna try and do as little farming in Stardew Valley as possible, which I understand kinda defeats the point. Now, there's loads you can do in this game. That's, that's reductive when people are like, oh, it's, just a fa it's a farming game. Very reductive. Grignor is here undercover, as we have established, to hunt down the cult of Yoba. Then it becomes Dark Souls. Man, that would be incredible. I hope they do some more weird eldritch stuff in... We should try and get all the secrets. That would be a cool idea for this run. Some of them are really esoteric. Some of them I probably already can't do. Uh, clouds look great this time. I can't see them. My guy. Grigner's like a dog. He can't look up. <laughs> Please feel free in the comments to tell me that that's not true. Please really do. Hello! I'll be making cookies today. I like making flower shapes in the spring. God, you live a life over here, don't you? What was that raccoon again? Do you see that? A saloon can get pretty lively at night. Sometimes we even put a coin in the jukebox. <laughs> He's talking about Yoba and sacrifices. We're lucky to have a library in such a small town. Eldritch Books. Hello. Hey, it's starting to warm up. I'm feeling pumped. Blessed, no doubt, by your Eldritch God. Hey, hello, small child. I'm hungry. Where's mum? I got some... Wait. Maybe a skin changer has replaced his mother. Wow. You're a farmer, huh? Interesting. You make great conversation. Did Evelyn just... <laughs> I thought she just fell into the bush. <laughs> that would be honestly amazing. Okay, so somewhere south of Marnie's Ranch is an axe that we need to take back to Robin herself. Oh, Shane. I forgot about you. Shane, the only man with better life choices than Greg now. Hello. What do you want? Leave me alone. All right. If I could just scoot past you there, fella. You weirdo. Oh, I'm sad because I live in paradise. Piss off. Give me that. Is he a raccoon? Hey! An axe. You found the last axe. Better return to Robin. Or oh, we keep it. This is an enchanted axe of Yoba. Oh, pea soup. We could keep it. And use it to kill the villagers. <laughs> God, I wish someone would lean so hard into that for a mod. Maybe I've got to do it. Uh, the only issue is my pixel art skills are um, unforgivable. That's the only word I can describe it with. Hello. No mouse. Go in that house has been a murder. Lucien Lachance style. Hanging from the rafters. Mayor Lewis. Holding a bloody knife telling you. What's over there? Oh, that's like the um, the Harvest Festival, Spring Festival, Easter Festival, Yoba's Great Return, where the people dance in strange, eldritch ways to hypnotize. Oh, hello! Oh, that's Leah, isn't it? Sorry. I thought it was an axe lady. Hello, how's it going? Have we actually ever spoken to her before? There's actually a lot of uh, food in this area, if you know where to look. Yeah, saying that to a man with a pocket full of wild food. 
There was wild food in the area. Maybe she was talking about looking in Grigna's pocket. Oh, I see it. So they're trying to lure him in. My God. It's, uh, it's the wizard Morbiusi. Remember, his name was M. Rasmodius. Oh my god, they've only done a front-facing sprite for it. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. Mediary between the physical and the ethereal. Master of all the seven elements. Keeper of the sacred char. You get the point. He was going to say charger for Yoba's iPhone. Hmm. Daughter deliverer, I will. And you, Gregna, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. The one who will bring balance and defeat the cult. I'd like to show you something. Behold! Summoning Jutsu. There it is. There's a fella, a little apple fella. Hello, apple fella. You've seen one before, haven't you? Yes. I have. It's a chair. There's one in my backpack. They call themselves Junimos. Mysterious spirits. These ones, for some reason, they refuse to speak with me. I wonder why. Look at a weird man in a tower capturing them. I'm not sure why they've moved to the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Thank you for clearing that up. You found a golden scroll written in an unknown language. Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I shall return shortly. I can teleport. Sniff his pot. Drink his soup. Oh my god. I found the note. It said, Are you paying too much for your car insurance? The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you shall see the true nature of this scroll. He's huffing his magic liquid. One with the forest. What do they mean? Oh, he is huffing his magic pot. Should we... You want to swap this soundtrack out for some Bob Marley? Aha! Come here! Alright, Morbius. This better not be a trap. <laughs> does, this, does this cauldron smell of chloroform to you? It's bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern. Moss scrub. Caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Can you smell what the Morbius is cooking? Drink it up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. This is how it begins. Plus one energy. Thank you. Oh, God. Oh, I'm not feeling so good. <laughs> what is happening? Oh... Whoa. Bruh. I mean, Grigner is uh, more than adept. Uh, this isn't his first experience, guys. This isn't his first rodeo. You've gained the power of the forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of Junimo scrolls. Wow. And tie-dye. Mainly tie-dye. What a time to be alive. Hello! <laughs> Grigna stumbles home. He accidentally walks into the wrong house. Oh, we can't go up there yet, can we? Uh, it's all coming back to me. Oh, Grigna, it's like you don't even know where you're going. What was in that stuff? That was strong. Grab ourselves a horseradish. You can go up to level three. We, we can't get back to our house through this direction. Right? It's probably overgrown again. I'm not sure it does grow back. Oh, well. Good luck. Uh. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh! oh! Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We can break it with the hoe. Hey, there you are. Did I remember to water that pissing cauliflower? Probably not. What a fun day! We met the wizard. And we did a quest for Pam. Green is one true love. Take my leak. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
I put it in the wrong chest. Oh my god, I genuinely thought that chest had all of its contents deleted then. I was about to have a sad cry. Okay, well that's fine. That's a lot better. Um, we'll, get, we'll put that in, the, in this chest. Nope, we'll put that in this chest. Nope, we'll put it in this chest. Because this is some of the stuff we've got to take to Gunther anyway, I presume, at some stage. Um, we'll put that in there, all this garbage. Anything we find in the dirt goes in this chest. That seems fine. Um... I'm alright with that. I think we've done some good work today. We've, we've built up relationships with the town. We had a nice chat with Linus. Talking to the wizard. Drank a soup. Questionable soup. Gwyngler's gonna die in his sleep tonight, but that's okay. Uh, nothing on the TV. Otherwise, we'd have been told up there, right? Living off the land. Well, we're living off the land. We're back again with another tip for you all. Listen up. Woes from crows. Sounds like you need a scarecrow. Place a scarecrow on your farm to turn the crows from a pretty good distance. Make sure you protect your value of crops. One other thing, you need a big backpack to store your stuff. Check, check out Pierre's. The man's also on the bloody pyramid scheme. Fortune teller. The spirits are very happy today. Yeah, we already knew that. Uh, okay, well, there's no point. I mean, we can check the weather report if we really felt like it. But there we are. Grigna. Oh, piss off. We got the water. Oh, we get the crab pot now. Ah, oh, well, we've got our task for tomorrow, haven't we? That is great news. That is fantastic news. Dish of the sea. Hmm. We can also tap. It's very convenient, given that we helped out Pam. And look at that big cash. Thank you for joining Gregnor on his daily, supposedly, adventures. Tomorrow we'll come back and we'll start setting up a business for Gregnor. Big business. We're going to get into crabs. And after that, we're going to set up his business. <laughs>